Hello scholars, welcome. Mr. Hinkle here discussing biological productivity within the oceans. In this case, we're looking at the types of primary producers that live in the marine environment. And quick review, primary productivity is the creation of new organic matter. It's basically plants in the ocean reproducing, forming the base of marine food webs. And we have four distinct types of photosynthetic marine organisms. Seed-bearing plants, large seaweed, small microscopic algae, and then this one's a little bit outside of our plant discussion, but microscopic bacteria that also photosynthesizes. Let's talk about them. So, grasses and mangroves that live in the ocean, usually only in shallow coastal waters. These are awesome communities that provide habitat, food, security, protection for a whole suite of various marine organisms. And along the way, they're also primary producers, capturing energy from the sun to convert it and offer it to various other marine life. So Anthophyta or seed bearing plants accounts for a small portion of primary producers, but there are trees and grasses in the ocean, so let's not overlook them. We've got seed bearing plants and grasses. Grasses in the ocean. Yeah, grass in the ocean. Seaweed. So there are thousands of different species of macroscopic seaweed. The stuff that washes up on the beach and you're like taking this beautiful walk and you're like, oh my gosh, what is this? Some seaweed has gas pockets and you can stomp them with your foot and they pop and they explode a little bit of water. It's awesome. Well, we can take these thousands of different species and classify them, organize them into a few different groups by color, chlorophyta, theophyta, rhodophyta, looking at red, brown, and green seaweed. But the seaweed is all algae that you can see with your eye. <clears throat> Some of it you can hold with your hands. Microscopic algae. Now, this is, these are the heavy lifters <clears throat> of primary productivity. Microscopic means that they have a very small size, a marine adaptation. That very small size and unique body shapes with lots of appendages leads to the ability to float in the ocean. One classification of marine, well, there's three. We've got floaters, plankton, swimmers, nectin, bottom dwellers, benthos. So phytoplankton, phyto for the light photosynthesis, plankton because they're swimmers, account for 95% of all marine primary productivity. So if this is all marine primary productivity, that's a lot of oxygen that's being created. That means there's a lot of biomass in these microscopic algae. The big three we want to talk about are diatoms, dinoflagellates, and coccolithophores. So diatoms, how cool. Look at all these unique shapes underneath the microscope. Up to a millimeter, they live in uh, coastal cold nutrient waters and they make their shells. The, the shell of microscopic marine organism is called a test. And they make their tests out of silica eventually creating a siliceous ooze that may turn into various types of marine sediments, but we'll talk about that in marine sediments. They have a diverse range of shapes from circular disks to elongated forms. How spectacular. Nature is amazing. <clears throat> Dinoflagellates, single-celled photosynthetic algae. Look at these shapes. It looks like something from another world, but this is actually our universe our ocean. That's what I meant to say. It's actually our ocean. So these 
have coverings made of cellulose. It decomposes in seawater. It doesn't really become marine sediments, but they have a small whip-like tail called a flagella, dinoflagellate, that helps them to propel through the water column. But these are small. They have unique shapes. They're still floaters, phytoplankton. And then coccolithophores <clears throat> create these coverings of interlocking disks made of calcium carbonates, readily available in seawater. And then when coccolithophores end up being consumed and dying, they uh, accumulate at the bottom of the ocean, becoming a calcareous ooze. Again, that's a marine sediment thing that will then turn into various types of sedimentary rocks. So there are many types of microscopic algae, but three very common are going to be the diatine, diatoms, dinoflagellates, and coccolithophores. An area of pretty new research is the importance of photosynthetic bacteria in the ocean called picoplankton. They're microscopic, they're single celled, they're out there, they can be heavily responsible. Not a lot of, is known about picoplankton at this point, but it's becoming more and more understood that these play a significant role in primary productivity. So this could be you. You could be a picoplankton expert figuring out the role of picoplankton in marine food webs and just how important this actually is. Ah, let's put this on our short list, picoplankton. <clears throat> Primary productivity is the basis of the food web in the marine environment for marine life. And it's basically marine algae, 95% of primary productivity. But there's also seaweed, there's plants, there's trees, there's grasses, there's bacteria in the ocean that are contributing to primary productivity. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one.